Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Hyperlinks in PowerPoint act just like the links you find online. They have their own display text, for example, USA.gov Retirement Resources, and also an email address, web page, or some other location that they're linked to. I'd like to show you how to turn text into a link starting here. All you have to do is go to the Insert tab, then Hyperlink. In this dialog box, you can see the text the link is going to display and change it if you need to. You can also enter a web address here. When you're done, click OK, and the text turns into a hyperlink. Why don't we try linking to something else, maybe an email address? I think it would be nice if new employees could click this person's name to contact Human Resources. This time, I'm going to right click the text and choose hyperlink here instead of going to the insert tab. Now click email address and just enter the recipient's email address here. Other options include linking to a file on your computer. For example, I'd like to be able to pull up the employee benefits guide, which happens to be a Word document. Again, just right click, go to hyperlink, and choose Existing File or Web Page. Here, you can navigate to any file on your computer and double click the one you want to create a link. Keep in mind, your link to another file may not work if you plan to send your PowerPoint out or present it on a different computer. Make sure you have a copy of the linked file on the computer you're using to present and always test your hyperlinks before giving a presentation. To test, just right click and go to Open Hyperlink. Looks like this one's working just fine. Other things you can access by right clicking any of your links includes the ability to edit the hyperlink or remove it. There's one more type of link I'd like to try at the beginning of my presentation where I have sort of a table of contents. I'd like the viewer to be able to click on an item to go to that place in the presentation. And instead of making the text the hyperlink, we can use the whole shape itself. This way the viewer can click anywhere on the shape to jump to that slide. Let's start with About AdWorks. Just select the shape, right-click, and select Hyperlink. Now, to link this to another slide, go to Place in this document. And you can choose from a list of slides with a little preview to the right. Here's the one we want to link to. Keep going until your table of contents is complete. And don't be afraid to get creative. There are lots of things you can do with the ability to link to other slides. Let's try one of these out in the slideshow view. See that? I was just on slide 2, and now I'm on slide 11. These hyperlinks are going to be a big help to me, and also to anyone who views the presentation on their own.